Notion has just released their official API and a few days later, uh, Integromat uh, has just added uh, the Notion integration, official native integration to Integromat. So I wanted to test this integration by connecting one of my Notion databases to uh, a channel in Discord to notify my colleagues when I add a new resource to my uh, database. It's very easy to connect uh, Notion. You just add a Notion, uh, a Notion element uh, to your uh, to your canvas uh, in uh, in Integromat. Uh, it's very easy. You just uh, authenticate uh, via Notion and you pick one of your uh, databases. So that's my database here, which is a private database, by the way. So you can also connect to uh, uh, private or uh, public databases in your uh, in your Notion boards. And then I connected uh, the the Discord uh, widget right here uh, using uh, Integromat. But I will help you fix an issue, uh, an issue due uh, to uh, um, the way data is presented uh, in Notion. So let me open uh, this uh, widget. So I just authenticated also using um, the native uh, integration uh, between Integromat and Discord, uh, and uh, each uh, each integration is connected to a specific channel uh, on a Discord server. So I picked my channel, and the only thing I need to do to uh, send a message, to post a message to the channel, is uh, choose the content, the values of the content that I want to send uh, to my channel. As you can see, I've got two pieces of information. One is the title of my resource and the other one is the URL. But I will just remove what I uh, created here and start again. So if I uh, pick uh, something in my properties array in Notion, and if I look uh, here for the uh, URL, as you can see, I can just pick it here. And you would assume that running the scenario, uh, the URL of uh, the latest line would just be sent uh, to Discord. But let's see what happens if I just do it like this. So I will uh, choose where to start so that we don't run it for all the lines. So since there are probably more than 500 lines in my table, it takes a while if I have to choose manually where I want to start uh, in Notion. Uh, you see it here in real time, but it will come. Uh, yes, so let's choose, for instance, uh, this one, one of the two latest ones as the starting point. And then we will run the scenario once. Let's do this. So it's going to Notion to try to retrieve the latest lines. But as you can see, there's an error in Discord. So let's open this screen to see what's the problem. And it says missing value of required parameter content. But as you can see, the value, as far as I could see it in Notion, uh, existed URL here in the properties. As you can see, it's right here, URL. So I just pasted this and I assumed it would work. There's just a little problem. Let's inspect uh, the output bundles, so what's going out of Notion uh, to Discord uh, by clicking on this uh, magnifying glass. So if I take, for instance, uh, the first one, and if I expand the properties array right here, I will try to find my URL. And I've got different positions in the array. Right here, I've got the position number four for the URL. So it's not the position number one. The position number one is just the uh, creation date. But if I want to get the URL, I've got to specify position number four in, uh, in, my, um, in my array. Okay, so if I go back to uh, my Discord module, and if I just pick the URL, I've got to double click there and choose position four, like this, okay? And then if I choose again where to start, okay, let's do it manually. We do it for the latest one. 
Dun, 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 dun. Let's wait for a while. Yeah, it takes a while if you've got a big list. I mean, if you want to choose manually, if you just want to uh, set the scenario and, and, and let it work, uh, you, don't, you don't need to, to pick this option, this option. Okay, plausible analytics. Okay, that's the latest one in my list. Uh, and I will run it to see whether it works now or not. Let's run it. It's going to Notion, trying to pick the latest line. Um, yes. Hopefully it doesn't go to timeout. No, and it worked. It worked. And as you can see, the content uh, in uh, Discord is indeed uh, the URL of my latest line. So the only thing you need to do is specify the position in the array depending on which value you want to get. And to know this position, you will need to run your scenario first uh, on your Notion module to inspect uh, the output bundle. Okay, so just inspect uh, the output bundle uh, right here in the properties and see what you want to send. So if, if it's the URL, you can see it's position number four. I don't know what's position number five. It's just yeah, an idea. Position number six. Yeah, position number six is the title. And then you go to uh, the title plain text. So if you want to add the title, you will need to specify position number six. So let's imagine I want to add the title uh, after a comma right here. So I just put a comma and then I want to add the title. So I go to my properties. I will find somewhere my title right here, plain text. But it's very important here to specify to specify position number six for uh, your title in the array. So let's do it again. Okay, because I need to remove it. Okay, so here that would be fine. So that would be position number six for my title and position number four for my URL. So I would just set it right here. I will save it. Don't uh, forget to save your scenarios. And my schedule is every 60 minutes. Yeah, I don't want to go crazy uh, in the frequency uh, of my schedule. Otherwise, it's just uh, uh, consuming operations on, on Integromat. So every 60 minutes, uh, each hour is perfect. So my scenario is ready. Next time I add uh, new resources to my Notion database, they will be sent to my colleagues via Discord. Thanks for your attention.